Hi there, I'm just going to show you this little bit of a device that I've made. Basically what I wanted to do was to convert two-way rotational movement into one-way. So the input to the device could move clockwise, anti-clockwise, but the output would always move in the same direction. Now how I've done that is with this bit of a gearing system here show you how I've done it. This is the input device as I said. I can move clockwise or anti-clockwise. The output will always go in the same direction. So as a quick demonstration, move the input anti-clockwise and then anti-clockwise and the output is always anti-clockwise. How this works is obviously this is the input drives this drive shaft Oops. which comes down drives this cog here now this little piece here moves backwards and forwards with a little bit of friction and it will drive either this cog or this cog all these four cogs are all linked together ultimately driving the output shaft put this little blue piece here so you can see the the direction it's moving in do it again, you see the output always goes in the same direction. Now what made me come up with this idea was basically I was looking into some way of generating some sort of power from, from waves on the ocean. If it moves up and down, up and down, something's tethered to the seabed which could drive that, that input there. Up, down, up, down, and the output always rotates. Now ultimately, to make it work properly, you'd want a flywheel on there ratcheted, so it's always being driven with the maximum power. And this is how it works. So if I try and do this slowly, you'll see how this little piece here, a little bit of friction moves that way or that way. If I show you that from the back, slowly again. may seem quite slow but you know I give it a bit of effort it does move quickly and it doesn't matter if it's upside down or like way around whatever it'll always work I've made this out with Lego because it's easy very simple to put together so it does sound plasticky but it is Lego so it always will now, you might be wondering what this little cock here is for. If I, if I just take this piece off here, we should use this much bigger cog onto the smaller cog. I'll just insert that's made a the connection. Now, obviously, you can see. Using the right gearing system it really speeds up the output for a smaller input. Show you that again from the back. Well, I hope you found this interesting, possibly useful.
it could potentially help you in whatever you do just give us a credit and a like and i hope you've enjoyed it thanks for watching